Hello friends, in this video we will review small cap mutual fund from Tata mutual fund AMC. We will start with scheme information and fund manager and then the risk meter. In addition to that we will see the top 5 sectors as well as top 10 companies which are part of this portfolio. In addition to that we will see the absolute return in percentage. At the end of the video I will show you some of the alternative funds that you can consider before you choose this fund for your investment. First and foremost, we will see some basic information about Tata Mutual Fund AMC. This Tata Mutual Fund AMC got established in the year 1994. The asset under the management is around 84,454 crores. The official website of this mutual fund is www.tatamutualfund.com. There are more than 113 mutual funds being offered by this AMC. This is one of the well-known AMC and which has got more than 25 years of experience in the field. Let us start analyzing small cap direct growth fund from Dota Mutual Fund AMC. Let us start by seeing some basic information about this scheme. This mutual fund got launched 19 October 2018. This is going to be an open-ended fund. This falls under equity small cap category. The main objective of this fund is try to generate long term capital appreciation by predominantly investing in small cap companies in India. As the name suggests, we can understand it is going to focus on only the small cap companies which may become as mid cap after that large cap. So the investment return will be higher compared to any index funds or large cap funds or mid cap funds. At the same time, we have to understand the risk in the small cap mutual fund is higher compared to all other funds. In this section, we will understand the scheme information. In case you are thinking of investing in this small cap mutual fund, the minimum SAP has to start with 1000 rupees. In case of lump sum, it has to start with 5000 rupees. The expense ratio associated with this mutual fund is 0.35 percentage as on April 10, 2022. The asset under the management is around 1823 crores. There is no lock in period associated with this fund. The benchmark which is being tracked by this mutual fund is Nifty Small Cap 250 Total Return Index. There is an exit load of 1% if you try to redeem your investment within the period of 12 months. Let us see the fund manager details of this small cap mutual fund. This mutual fund is being managed by Chandrapragras Padiyar, who is having more than 19 years of experience and managing more than 10 schemes and he is having the asset under the management of 7750 crores. In this section, we will understand the scheme riskometer. The risk of investing in this mutual fund is going to be higher risk. We have to understand our mutual fund investment will be at high risk. Most of the equity mutual funds will fall under the same category. Let us see the scheme ratings provided by third party research companies. Value research has given the rating of 4 star. At the same time, Morningstar has also given the rating of 3 star for this small cap mutual fund from Tata Mutual Fund AMC. In this section, we will understand the fund allocation by market capitalization. Nearly 25.56% is being allocated to buy stocks which are listed in mid cap category. Mostly 63.33% is being allocated to buy stocks which are listed in small cap category. As the name suggests, this is the small cap mutual fund. So the main focus is going to be investing in small cap stocks. In this section, we will understand the top 5 sectors in this portfolio. The sectors are given as below. 17.44 percentage is being allocated for services sector. Chemicals has the allocation of 12.01 percentage. Capital goods has the allocation of 11.59 percentage. Whereas cash holding has the allocation of 10.37 percentage. The remaining percentage of money which is allocated for the materials goes as 10.02 percentage. In this section, we will see the top 10 companies which are part of this portfolio. We will list out the companies as well as the percentage of allocation. Algaro has the allocation of 5.47%. Reddington India has the allocation of 4.79%. BASP India Limited has the allocation of 4.07%. 
Argo Tech Foods has the allocation of 3.88%. Greenplay Industry Limited has the allocation of 3.86%. TCP Bank has the allocation of 3.65%. Kirloskar Panamic has the allocation of 3.56%. Elanstech Peck India Limited has the allocation of 3.26%. Tube Investment of India Limited has the allocation of 3.24%. Axo Noble India Limited has the allocation of 2.97%. Most of these companies will fall under small cap category. As I mentioned earlier, this is a small cap mutual fund which is going to focus on investing in small cap stocks. Now we have come to the exciting part of this video which is going to be absolute return in percentage. In last one year, this mutual fund has given the return of 40.03%. In case of last three year, it would have given the return of 113.29%. Let us simplify this percentage calculation by investing 10,000 rupees in the mutual fund. The investment of 10,000 would have given the return of around 4,003 rupees in the last one year. In case of last 3 year, we would have got the return of 11,329 rupees. All these calculations are given in absolute numbers. In the next section, I will show you some of the alternative mutual funds that you can consider before you choose this fund for your investment. It is always recommended that you consider and compare other mutual funds in terms of the expense ratio as well as the past performance and error factoring ratio. Let us see the alternative funds which you can consider. Now we have come to the end of the video. So far we have analyzed small cap direct growth mutual fund from Tata Mutual Fund AMC. Hope this video was useful. If you like this video, do subscribe for our financial techie channel for more investment related videos. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.